What's up guys, welcome to another Capture the Flyer commentary this time on Estate. And uh, don't forget to rate the video whatever feel it deserves, as it does help my channel grow bigger and bigger. Yeah, I know, I say that every fucking video, oh well. So, um, in this one I'm using a good setup that I got a tip from my friend about. Uh, it is the TAR-21 with the silencer, uh, a Stinger missile, cold-blooded Ninja Pro, and Scavenger Pro. I would personally prefer a cold-blooded Pro, but I don't have it yet. I know the trick to getting cold blooded pro is um, you wait for somebody to call in a cobra or something like that. You shoot it down, and when it's spinning out of control, every bullet that you put in it counts as a kill streak reward kill. And lately, I haven't been lucky with finding cobra spinning out of control in the air. I don't even know if I got one in this map. Probably. I, I think there was a cobra in this map, but I didn't shoot it down at all. Maybe not. But. I'm also using this little trick that I like to do. You plant a claymore by the flag and you go about your business and hopefully some idiot will pass by it, like right there, and then you get a nice kill. So that was a nice double kill right there. Claymore gets me one and then I get a knife for the with the uh for the other kill. And that was a good setup. So you guys should try that. That's what I like to call the claymore trick. I've made a video about it before, but I'd just like to remind you guys. And right here we get a nice example of how bad sometimes the spawn can be uh, my friend kills this guy he spawns up right next to me while I'm trying to kill another guy and there goes my famous heater in the background I swear it's just everything's clicking right on time you know uh, for like the next minute probably the video is gonna be a little choppy but it's not that bad so just bear with it but I got an experience I want to talk to you guys about today wasn't really a good day for me I woke up and there goes my dog sitting right there looking at me. I don't know what the hell was her problem. But uh, it's a beagle and she's three years old. And she was just looking at me. So I was like, oh, maybe maybe she just wants uh, some attention. So I give her some attention. And she comes right over me, squats down, and takes a nice long piss right on me. What kind of shit is that? That was so messed up. I sat there in shock. Like, how can you do something like that? But then I was like, all right, maybe maybe it was a little accident. Maybe I don't know. Maybe she's sleepwalking. But <laughs> but um, it was it was pretty messed up. So I had to change my blanket, everything like that, take a shower, and uh, everything was good. And then I was playing uh, some Modern Warfare 2, and she takes a dump on my bed. Not only does she take a piss, then a dump. She waits for me to change the blankets, take a shower, and do all that to take a fucking dump. You got to be serious. So, I guess I must have done something to her, must have ignored her or something like that. Because she really didn't look happy when she was sitting there looking at me. So, I knew something was up, but I didn't expect that. That's messed up, man. That's really... God. Anyways, uh, I'm playing with a good team of mine. I got a party going. And uh, this actually was about, I don't know, an hour ago. So, we were doing pretty well, doing pretty well that night. I had a... Uh, three gameplays to choose from uh... one was thirty one and and four the other one was well i'm not gonna ruin it i forgot if i was to say the gameplay i'll, I'll probably give away the score in this one so um... i know some people are like oh you ruin it but i'm not gonna ruin it all right no this is not the one that was thirty one and four so the other two are just random so um... <clears throat> a scavenger is a good perk to use in capture the flag along with the combination of, of uh, claymores because you could just keep on planting them sons of bitches and people will run into it gets you a kill gets you a kill streaks oh my kill streak setup I'm using a uh, harrier stealth bomber and I believe the AC 130 I wanted to try that out because it is pretty much packed together 7 9 11 and uh, once you get the harrier you are most likely guaranteed to get the um, what's it called stealth bomber and once you get the stealth bomber if you plant it in the well if you if you make it go over the right spot, you'll definitely get the, uh, the AC-130 easily. And that's a good kill streak setup. It'll get you a good score. And a lot of people have been asking me to give out some tips. So I decided to just take the time right now to give out some tips. So now that my Modern Warfare 2 is a little bit more tolerable, and now that my heater is finally turned off, yes, um, I'm going to start playing Modern Warfare 2 a lot more than I did before, before I only play like once or twice a week, like I said before, and now we got a fucking uh, car alarm, this is just perfect, I swear man, video lag, heater, 
My dog shits on my bed, pisses on me. Wow, this is all just clicking. I hope he, I hope his car is getting broken into right now. So that it's, not, it's just like nothing. If it's nothing, then I'm gonna be pissed off. That car alarm better have gone off for something. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but I could damn well hear it. Picture that at four o'clock in the morning. Some guy did that one time. It wasn't a car alarm. It was actually his horn. I guess he was picking up somebody from uh, down the street. And the asshole just sits there honking his horn for like a good five minutes. I'm surprised he wasn't A, shot at. B, pulled out of his car. Or three, or whoa. Look at that. I fucked up right there. A, B, three. That's nice. Or C, <laughs> had something thrown at his car. That did happen before. Some dude was honking and they just they threw something at his car. Oh well, now you know your lesson. Don't come around here honking your horn. So I think there's the part where the stealth bomber gets me my nice AC-130. And the AC-130 will kick some ass. There it goes, you see? Two kills, just like that. That's how, it, that's how easy it is with the stealth bomber. The stealth bomber nowadays is not really much stealthy anymore. In the first couple of weeks, yeah, people were like, oh, what the hell? Now it's not really much stealth because of the fact that you can hear that shit coming from like a mile away and then everybody runs inside every time I hear a stealth bomber and I look at my UAV if I don't see that little thing on my UAV because they show you if your friends have it but if you don't see it like a green thing coming over the UAV then get the hell inside because that means a stealth bomber is coming to rape your ass so there's a guy down there somewhere down there shooting a stinger missile at me and I'm not having it so I see him right there and boom! I think I think I got him. I'm not sure. But these bastards, man. Lately, they've been shooting down every air support that I get. Really, I had an AC-130 earlier. Three guys shot three Stinger missiles at it. It was done. I only got like two kills, and that was it. That that really isn't a good feeling, you know. You you work your ass off for 11 kills because in this game, getting 11 kills is a fucking achievement. You know what I'm saying? Like, Call of Duty 4 wasn't that hard, but this game, there's people camping with heartbeat sensors with claymores out you got the guys running around with one at one man army danger close and all that so get a, getting an 11 kill streak is really it's like a mission and nice blending in with the environment <laughs> that guy fails man a sniper's uh sniper's basic visibility is uh is movement because if you're staying still Unless he has like a thermal, he won't really catch you that much. But if you're moving around, he's going to be able to see you real easily. So that sniper right there, he should have been staying still in one spot waiting for me to move. Not the other way around. Maybe there was somebody in the house. I don't know. Estate really does have like an unbalanced way with the map. Because on Demolition, 99.9% .9 of the time, the other team is just going to camp inside the house. And... They win the round. So it's basically whoever gets that house wins the round. So that's why whenever I'm with my team, I give them the main objective is to get to the house first. Because if B is if A and B is still intact, they're not going to be in the house probably. They'll probably send a couple of guys to go protect the other bomb, which is a stupid move. But it's, mo it's likely to happen. But if you take out the one without the house first, then they're all just going to stay in that house for the whole entire game. What is fun though is to camp inside the house with riot shields, just for fun. I'm not saying like seriously and all that. We 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 do that a lot. That's that's hilarious. I find it funny to just camp in the bathrooms and the in the basement. Well, not I don't even think it's like a basement. It's like a lounge down there. Whoever owned that house must be pretty pissed if they watch this game now. Like I wonder if that house really is, exists in in the real world. That that would be pretty cool to visit. I know a lot of places in like Call of Duty 4. Like the whole Chernobyl, I don't even know how the fuck to pronounce it, but like that part in Ukraine, I know that really does exist. And I've seen a lot of pictures of it. I've also seen a video. That guy made a video about it. I forgot who, but somebody made a video about it. They named it like Call of Duty 4 versus the real life. That's pretty messed up, though. Imagine having to evacuate your, your town because of uh, some type of explosion that causes radiation and all that. Man, that would be messed up. And now that... Now it's a ghost town, in the words of, I think Captain Price said that. Man, Captain Price is the man. Anybody ever noticed that? Like, 
Dude, every time I play the story mode, I want to play a mission with Captain Price. He's so badass, the way he speaks. But, <laughs> uh, in one of JX's videos, uh, you see Captain Price's face, and he looks really pissed off. Like, that part had me laughing. I'm still laughing right now, thinking about it. <laughs> Captain Price looked really pissed off. That was hilarious. I think it was, uh, cause I forgot the damn name, but, oh well. The, the match is about to end. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Uh, I probably won't have another one up till till Wednesday. Uh, send in your gameplay for the Wednesday commentary. You could do that via the link in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out the rest of the links. Uh, peace. Guess that's it.